Hello, dear. You're welcome to Design Slider Tech. One of the best AI tools that can turn a photo or image into a video is Grok. But there is a limitation to it. Grok does 6 seconds video, especially if you are running the limited free version. So I've been able to work around it and I'm able to create a longer form videos like a movie using Grok AI. And it is free completely free and disclaimer this is not hacking or cracking or bypassing anything for illegal practice this is completely legal and absolutely free using grok now this is the photo that i'm able to use and this is the long form videos like a movie that i created with it hubbard you promised you'd fix the leaky sink today it's been dripping all morning and now the whole kitchen is in a mess i said i would but i delayed by a client's emergency i'll get to it after dinner after dinner with you becomes tomorrow I'm tired of chasing your excuses. It's fine. No, it's okay. I'll stop making excuses. I'll fix it tonight before I do anything else. Just take it. That's better. If you actually fix it, I'll stop nagging. Look at the movement of the camera. He is now moving to another part of the house, which was not in the picture I uploaded for it. This is amazing. Watch it. The kitchen part is not in the photo. There was no kitchen in the photo. But this AI is amazing. It automatically created other parts in the video which was not in it originally. And of course, you can see it is longer than 6 seconds. Now, let me show you how we could do it. Now, open your browser and go to grok.com. When you land on the home page, you will need to sign up. If you are using this for the first time, please sign up and follow the process to do that. And if you already have an account, you just need to sign in. Now, when you sign in and you are here, you go to your profile. So click on this profile icon here. On your profile icon, then you go to settings. When the settings opens, on the settings menu, look for behavior. Then on that behavior, scroll down and look for enable automatic video generation. What this does is that usually when you upload a photo or an image, it will automatically start turning that photo or image to a video instantly. And the video will come out according to whatever the AI feels like. But in this case, we want to regulate that so that we will be the one to control or to determine what we want the video to be like and not the AI choosing random setting for us. So under this enable automatic video generation, let's turn it off so that we can give prompt manually so once you do that you are done with this just turn it off then you go to imagine now under imagine you can generate a new picture from here with the prompt you put in it or if you already have your picture somewhere then you need to upload so i will be going with a picture that i already have just for you to see this is the picture that i'll be using and i'll turn this to a long form video way much longer than six seconds video so i'll use this attach button to upload if i want to do that we have upload a file draw a sketch connect google drive that's if you have your picture in your google drive from this same account don't forget or use any other means that works for you you can even do recent if you have uploaded pictures recently Okay, I think I've done that recently actually here. Alternatively, you can use drag and drop method. I think drag and drop method works as well. What I mean is you go to your file explorer and open the ex exact folder where you have it. When you click on it, you can easily drag that photo that you want to use, which is this in my case. Then you drop it in here. It will be uploaded for you. Now, as the image is uploaded, before now, instantly it will start creating the videos immediately by itself. And you never can tell the output, it will usually not the exact motion, gesture and voice that you want. But because we have turned it off from here before, then this is going to work for us. So now it's for us to now drop the prompt here. So for me, I already have my prompt that I want to use. So go get your prompt or you type it in manually. You can type it afresh as well. So you can either type it on the go or you copy a ready-made prompt that you have saved before. So in this case now, it's the wife that will start talking according to what I want. So I say the wife in an argument with the man, she says this. So this will be the statement from the wife in an argumentative manner. So I send it. You promised we'd discuss the budget before making any decisions, yet you went ahead for that loan without telling me. I love the fact that 
the action, the demonstration, the body gesture, the expression on their faces shows argument is going on. This AI is amazing. It's able to recognize the fact that I mentioned argument. It doesn't have to be argument in your own case, but I'm just trying to let you know that this AI is so amazing to walk around the prompt you gave it and do it exactly or even better than the prompt itself. So now that the first video is ready, all you need to do is you click here and you download it to save it on your device. I'm going to give this label one because I will not be confused later. Now it is saved. Now to proceed, you are not just creating videos anyhow. This same video now will give us the picture we use for the second extension. Now drag this video till the end. Just drag this playhead and drag it till the end. Well, now when you drag it to the end, make sure you drag it to the end frame. So the end frame will now be the beginning of the next video so when you drag it to the end frame right click anywhere on the video itself then you look for copy video frame now video frame has been copied so this last frame will be the beginning point of the next thing goes back one step you will now paste the new picture here which is the new frame you copied that frame has turned to picture in your clipboard now the picture is coming up. Now we have it. So now we have our new frame uploaded. So it's time for the husband to talk. So I have my prompt ready. So I'll just copy it. Then I put it in here. You can type yours manually on the go if you don't have ready-made prompt. So I put that in here. And this time it is the husband that is going to talk. It's still in an argumentation with the woman. This is the speech that I want the man to say. Then I push it for Glock to do its magic. I thought I was doing the right thing for our family and the opportunity seemed urgent and I didn't want to. I love the fact that when the man is talking, the lady is also giving reactions, body gestures to like connect to the message from the man. I thought I was doing the right thing for our family and the opportunity seemed urgent and I didn't want us to miss it. Oh, we need to download this first so I don't forget. So download our second clip. So I will call this two so that I'll be able to track this. The reason for this labeling is not as if it is compulsory, you do the same. I mean, where I have one, now I'm saving this as two. It's not as if it is compulsory, it is just because it will be easy for me to pick the right files. If I want to join them together, I will know the one that is first and the one that is next and the one that is next to arrange them in the right order if I want to edit them on my editor. So saved and now we drag this to the end. So on the video, you write mouse click and Copy video frame. Go back one step. Paste the frame you copied. Then we'll pick the next prompt and I drop it in there. I push it for Grok to do his job. Um. I own that, dear. I know you meant well, but next time, talk to me first so we handle it together. Now, do you notice there's something that she said at the beginning of the video which is not important? That's not a problem. You just need to cut that part out when you are doing your video editing. This is normal for AI to misbehave sometimes. And sometimes you will see that unnecessary extension comes at the end. So if you notice that that happens probably at the beginning, that's not a problem. Or if it happens at the end, you just find a way to take it to your video editor and you cut out that unnecessary part. Your video is still your video. We have this now, then we download. And this would be my three. A quick thing to also note, if you are trying to download and probably by mistake, your hand has turned this button off, this speaker button or volume button. So if this is turned off and you try to download, it will be downloaded, yes. But the video will be downloaded in your device without its audio, no voice, no audio. So it will become a voiceless video. So always make sure you turn on the speaker or volume button before you download it. This is basically how to continue the process for as long as you want. That's how to do it and it's absolutely free. And this is Lego. We are not hacking anything or cracking any process here. The next thing is to open your video editor. You are free to use any video editor of your choice. But in my case, I'm going to be using CapCut. Then go to new project. So I'm going to click import. Then I import my one two three four add them to the timeline okay now if we see this says four here here is three here is two here is one so it's not in the correct order so obviously this one's supposed to be the first one here and two will be here 
And instead of doing all this, I can of course just drag or upload it manually by going to 1. Then push my playhead here. Then I go 2. Then 3. My playhead is here. Then I add 4. And let's play it and see how it is. You promised we'd discuss the budget before making any decisions, yet you went ahead for that loan without telling me. I thought I was doing the right thing for our family and the opportunity. Now, so now, even from the beginning, there's something the lady is saying that I don't think is necessary. Let's confirm that. You promised we'd discuss the budget before making... So we need to take that part out. The point I need is from you promised. So you promised that from here. So I just cut this out. Yeah, now it's going to start properly. You promised we'd discuss the budget before making any decisions, yet you went ahead for that loan without telling me. I thought I was doing that. Now, there was a silence before the man starts replying. That silence is not necessary. I will need to take that out. Loan without telling me. Immediately without telling me, the man should start talking. So I will need to cut away this silence from this clip. Then, there's a sound before the man starts talking. There's a sound before I thought. I thought I... So, I'm going to cut away that sound. We don't need it. You promised we'd discuss the budget before making any decisions, yet you went ahead for that loan without telling me. I thought I was doing the right thing for our family, and the opportunity seemed urgent, and I didn't want us to miss it. Dear, I know you meant well, but next time, talk to me first so we handle it together. I'm sorry, dear. I should have told you. Let's sit down now and figure out a plan together. That's how to get your videos longer using Grok AI. I hope you've learned one or two things in this video. It would be good if you can subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up, a like. Thank you. I will see you in my next video.